All right, y'all. Look, we're going to open this video up with something very random that I just happened to be scrolling down my YouTube channel, actually. And this 11 Alive, you know, post came up about 37 missing children, 84 child victims found in the FBI sex trafficking operation. Now, you're probably wondering, what does this have to do with Ann um and hike and heck i'm honestly not sure how they pronounce her last name maybe i should have looked up some audio of how to pronounce it but you know whatever we're gonna get to it all right uh, maybe some of you most of you probably already know why we're looking into this but i just wanted to do this i wanted to start the video off so we could kind of see the dynamic of how much sex trafficking is actually going on in the world that we live in and this is just a small case this was literally something i saw scrolling down my timeline on youtube as i was like like i was just in the mindset of all right i'm about to um i'm about to do this video i just logged on youtube and boom i saw this so i said all right cool perfect let's just start it off with reading what this is about during a two-week operation in august the fbi located 84 victims of child sex exploitation and found 37 actively missing children during a nationwide sex trafficking initiative the average age of the victims was 15 and a half years old, and the youngest was actually 11 years old. In addition to locating and identifying the underage victims, the FBI found 141 trafficked adults. So not actually kids, they're actually full-grown adults, and they're still being trafficked, right? It says the Justice Department is committed to doing everything in our power to combat the insidious crimes of human trafficking that devastate survivors and their families. The nationwide operation focused on locating victim victims of sex trafficking and arresting those involved in both child sex and human trafficking crimes. Agents arrested or identified 85 suspects of child sex exploitation and human trafficking offenses. Now, the crazy thing about all of this is this is you guys already know this is rampant across the united states especially in certain you know major city areas and especially here where i stay um in atlanta it's huge people go missing all the time this is definitely one of the hubs where a lot of women children people go missing and are trafficked to who knows where because a lot of people actually talk about it here because a lot of people go missing and you never hear anything from them again. There's a lot of cities around the U.S. that this is a constant problem in. Says the initiative Operation Cross Country, meaning they're trying to tackle everything all over the United States, worked alongside 200 state, local and federal partners, as well as the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children to conduct 391 operations in August. Human trafficking is among the most heinous crimes the FBI encounters. And then it says... Unfortunately, these crimes against both adults and children are far more common than most people realize. And that is exactly right. And it is beyond far more common than most people realize. It's going on right under, you know, people's noses. It could be right in a house next to you where 13 young girls or kids, male and female, are being held waiting to be trafficked to who knows where. May I remind you of how many kids actually go missing in the U.S. And we're just talking about kids. We're not talking about trafficked adults because it's a real thing for adults to be trafficked and kidnapped as well all across the board. So when we speak on children, we're speaking on 600 to 900,000 kids going missing a year, people. Where are these kids going to? Are they dying? No. Are they going somewhere and coming back to their families? No. These kids are being trafficked. These kids are being kidnapped. They're being sold. Every year? Six to eight hundred thousand kids every year in the U.S.? Can y'all please think about that number? All right, since we're going to do a video about Anne Height and we're going to mention the fact that, you know, she was working on a movie or just finished up a movie about child sex trafficking. I think it was like a girl in room 13 was the name of the movie or something like that. So we might as well go all the way. 
So it says every 40 seconds, a child goes missing or is abducted in the United States. Approximately 840,000 children are reported missing each year. And the FBI estimates that between 85 and 90 percent of these are children. Yeah. 840,000 children are reported missing each year. 85 to 90% of those are children. And it says, while re most reports of missing or abducted children are resolved within hours, many involve situations where a child goes missing permanently or for an extended period of time. The following are some key issues surrounding missing and abducted children. And I'm pretty sure they go on and talk about Amber Alerts. Family abduction, non-family abduction, runaways, and so on and so on. You have all kind of different reasons on why children go missing. But we know that there is a very sinister reason behind this as well. Because this number is astounding. And it's grown over the years. Because I remember looking into this a few years ago and it was like 600,000. And it's almost as if this number increases every time. And we have to understand something. This is 840,000 children that are reported. They're reported. We're not, we're not talking about the ones that go missing that aren't reported. We're not talking about the people that, you know, are on the street. You know, maybe homeless people that are on the street or homeless teens that are on the street. Because we cannot forget that there, there, there's not just homeless adults on the streets. There's homeless teenagers. There's 16 and 15 and 17 year olds out there that are on the street that are living alone. They may have a parent that doesn't give a damn about them. They may be somewhat of an addict. Who knows, you know? But I can guarantee you there's probably another one to 200,000 cases that are not reported. So we have no idea where these children actually end up. We know some end up probably not even in this country because we know that they they actually, you know, they traffic from other countries as well, which we are very aware that they probably try and traffic just, you know, as many kids that they do from the United States in other countries as well. You know, y'all don't really want me to get into the whole, you know, Hillary and Bill Clinton thing. And, you know, the fake front foundation slash charity that they had back in Haiti. Which was really just a cover up for child sex trafficking, for human trafficking. For MK Ultra mind control, who knows what they actually attempt to do on those kids. And it also takes it back to the woman that was that went by the name Laura Silsby. If you remember, if you guys looked into anything about the trafficking in Haiti, this woman was actually found trying to kidnap 33 children in Haiti. I couldn't make this up if I tried. 33. 33 people. And then, of course, the Clintons used their little power and their hidden hand to cover it up with the media and basically get the lady off. Because she was a former director of the New Life of Children's Refuge. These people actually work with children. They use these things, these organizations as fronts. That's how sinister and evil it is, which is why I said there are people out there who don't want this stuff to be known. She was literally arrested at a Haitian border attempting to smuggle 33 children. No documentation, nothing. 33 of them. Why not 30? I'm tired of explaining the 33 thing. Why? Do y'all see it yet? Why 33? Why not 34 of them? Why did you grab an extra two? Why did you just want 33? What were you going to do with those children? Where were you going to take them? Where were they going? What about the ones that she actually got across the border and didn't get caught? Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Now, I'm not about to use this video to go into all of that stuff because that is not what this video is about. But like I said, if we're going to talk about this, we're going to talk about it all the way. And regardless of what happens to this video, we're going to get it out. All right. So now 
let's just go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I took so long. Let's go ahead and get into the next segment, and we're going to talk about Anne Hike. All right. Now, we obviously know that this is the wildest part of the story here, and this is what we've been waiting to get to, because clearly in this footage, they're actually rushing her into the ambulance. There's without a doubt that they are rushing her. So to me, this kind of seems like they know that she's not dead. Now, obviously, you know, anyone would be like, yo, you know, this is a critical situation. They're trying to rush her and get her into the ambulance and get her to the hospital, you know, make sure everything is good. But then at the end of it, when she actually pops out of the bag, why, you know, why does the firefighters, why don't they look surprised? You would expect someone to be like, yo, oh, shit. Like, jump back, like, oh, shit, she popped out of the bag. But no, instead, the firefighter right next to her just kind of, right as the video shuts off, puts his arm on her shoulder or toward her back and is, like, about to push her back in as if that was expected. As if they knew she was still alive but was trying to rush her into there so they could actually finish the job. Because at the end of the day, they took her off life support on a Sunday. So they officially killed her on a Sunday. So we know what the occult likes to do on Sundays, what it means to them on Sundays to sacrifice. Because I, I can I can make a very long list of celebrities that have been sacrificed on Sundays. Now, obviously, this <laughs> kind of like broke the Internet because I don't think we've ever seen anything like this. And of course, that makes people go like, oh, it's zombie type shit. She just pops out of the body bag, just you know, unzips the body bag and just boom. But I can say for sure that she was definitely rushed there. And I definitely feel like they knew she wasn't dead. And maybe, you know, they were to finish the job, you know, after she was out of sight from everybody and into the ambulance and going wherever she goes after that. Because we already know, man, this is, it doesn't matter what level they're at, you know, if you're a woman or you're a man, if you play the devil's game, things like this can happen. You can end up sacrificed in the industry by someone that you were actually with. Could have been Ellen DeGeneres. We already know rumors of what Ellen DeGeneres was involved in. And I don't want to say it too much because I've already talked about some of that stuff in the beginning of this video. So I don't want to, you know, I don't want to keep going on and on and saying all that. But y'all already know what Ellen DeGeneres had rumors to be involved in and plus the reason i even did all of that about the you know child sex trafficking is because she was working on the movie i think it was a girl in room 13 and catch that number 13 and i think she was playing the mom of a sex trafficked victim which the movie is still going to roll out through lifetime as they're saying So, you know, there could be multiple reasons behind why she actually was killed and why this story and why they actually chose to show us this. You know, it's very, it's very, very interesting, though. I'm not going to lie to me at the same time. It kind of makes me think that this could have been a charade. This could have been like, you know, something that they wanted to show us to be in fear of something, you know, you know, you know, because y'all remember back when like the CDC used to put out shit about like the zombie apocalypse and shit like that. You know, it's just like at the end of the day, you never know what these people are, you know, or better yet, you never know the agenda behind what we're actually looking at, you know. But besides that whole zombie shit, you know, she definitely was rushed into that ambulance. That firefighter, you know, the way he grabbed her arm or tried to like shove her back in. It's like they already knew that she wasn't dead. <laughs> it's clear. It's clear that they knew she was not dead. And Ann Hike dies at 53 years old, took it off of life support on a Sunday. So I don't think it gets any more obvious than that. So, yeah, y'all, um, you know, um, I told y'all I would come and talk about this video. You know, I don't want to drag it on too long. Um, like I said, I've already 
you know, I know, I know I've already got into a few things that they don't like us to talk about. So I don't want to make this video too long and just, you know, keep going because I don't want this video to get deleted either. I hope it stays up. You know, I hope it doesn't get flagged or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, man, y'all just let me know what y'all got in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. As always, man, we'll get a conversation going back and forth. And with that being said, it's Black Balloon. And I'm going to see y'all soon.